I just hiked up the McKay Loop and we're here at the beginning of, I think it's pronounced Mobetta, Mobetta Trail. It's pretty new from what I gather. I mean, I never seen it before just uh, a few weeks ago, really. And I've been walking this trail for many years. So yeah, I figure I'd show you guys. It's awesome down here. Really beautiful forest. All this sphagnum moss. It's being covered up by a lot of pine needles being shed this time of year. And leaves and such. But uh, yeah, I mean, just uh, at the beginning of October, it was so vibrantly green still is but i mean if you could see it before all the leaves fell it was fantastic in here Lots of forest uh, mushrooms in here. See, they're all over the place. Big colonies of them here. Lots of different type of mushrooms too. There's a pretty interesting looking purple mushroom in here. I mean, I'd butcher the name. I think it's, uh, it's like Coralanus tribe. Lanagus or some, something like that. Butchering that for sure, but yeah. This is actually an example, I believe, of it. Right here, you can see the, looks like spider webs. Um, but they're actually, it's like a, a spore net or something like that when I was looking up the mushroom. Pretty cool. This one isn't very uh, purple, but you can find some really big ones that are quite purplish. Tons of uh, death caps or uh, destroying angels actually in here too. This particular spot's really cool. You can see it's like a, before a trail went through here, it was the preferred area for gathering. Some local squirrels are probably not too happy about the trail going through their little gathering area now. But they'll adapt. I have a habit of getting lost when I take this trail, coming back. You know, it's uh, it can be quite confusing because it's like it looks like there's other trails uh, linking off from the main trail here that I'm on. Yeah, it got me quite a few times. The first time it got me though, it was awesome because I found a really nice uh, painted dog rock on a stump that's probably been out here for like a year or two. I took it home. Trees on the trail.
So that's the end of the trail. Awesome trail, right? Comes out to quite a bit of trash here, actually. When I first uh, found the trail and came through it, I was quite struck by all the trash, actually. I was like, what the hell? Is this like a part of the dump that wraps around to here or something? But I think it's just people, you know, sometime in the last 20 years, uh, just illegally dumping, really. You got the nice and easy, uh, friggin' hair dye activator or whatever. Dish detergent, friggin' laundry detergent. So yeah, fairly recent stuff, really. Some trashy people up here dumping. But yeah, that's my purpose of even coming up here today, is to clean this all up. And, uh... Get it looking good. So when other people discover the uh, Mo Mobetta, if I'm even pronouncing that right, trail that I just came out of, they greet it by, uh, you know, clean surroundings, not a bunch of garbage. So yeah, I'm gonna get to her. So I only brought three garbage bags, but uh, I filled them up pretty quickly here, as you can see. Yeah, I mean, quite a bit of garbage still here, unfortunately. But uh, I did make a dent. That much is known. I was hoping, I was thinking in my head, you know how memory is, that it was a lot smaller, this whole garbage pile here. But it's proven to be uh, otherwise. It's it's seen numerous dumpings. Now I got to hike uh, all these garbage bags out. And that's gonna take me like uh, an hour, an hour of hiking back and forth with garbage bags that uh, have so many rips in them. Not fun. But I'm just gonna leave them at the start of the trail. I'm closest to the uh, ring road. Uh, entrance of the trail so that's what I'm gonna do it'll take me about 20-25 uh, minutes um, each time I leave with a garbage bag to the entrance uh, oh well it's the price you pay for uh, other people's trashiness or whatever's going on here lots of recent garbage like I found uh, a good Sam's Club card. I won't say the name on it, but uh, yeah, it was from, uh, it said uh, membership since 2011. So that's very recent. Who knows when that was chucked out here, right? It says since 2011. So this could have been chucked out here anytime since 2011 to now. So quite sad. I really hope it, uh, it's not a landfill situation. But it's still just as bad if it's, uh, you know, if it's somebody personally coming out here on, say, like a four-wheeler and dumping their garbage. Like, why? Why would you ever do that? Like, I can't see that. That just doesn't add up in my brain. I don't want to accept that as a reality. But yeah, time to start hiking these out. Woohoo. Make no mistake, it is rough work carrying these bags of garbage out. I carried the uh, first two uh, at once there, so whew, that was a mistake. 
But uh, even carrying this one, even though it's the heaviest out of the batch, that's why I left it for the last. It's still rough. Huh. All right. I think I did it. I made it to the finish point with the last garbage bag here. Ah, uh, it feels nice to know your mission is complete and you you were successful. That's why I came out here really to to clean uh, the end of Mobetta there because you know it, it gives you a gives you it gives me kind of a rush really come out here and clean it and and see my work complete and then come back next year and not have to see that mess again it's a nice feeling <laughs>